While going through NVIDIA's press presentation slides, uh, there was this interesting tidbit about an upcoming uh, $600 Crisis 2 PC from Cyber, uh, Cyber Power and V3 Gaming, which uh, uses uh, Intel's Core i3 processor mixed with the GeForce GTX 550 Ti and promises a playable uh, Crisis 2, uh, that it can play Crisis 2 in advanced quality at 40 frames per second. So that uh, that that was actually the basis for this review. That's why I uh, in this review I used the uh, Core i3 and the 550Ti and tried to build my own uh, sub $600 PC and try to see if uh, not only can it can it play this. Uh, we'll look at later if it can indeed play uh, Crisis 2 at 40 frames per second in advanced mode. And we also, uh, if you read the benchmarks on, our, on the site, you can see uh, how well the this type of PC did in our uh, uh, the, uh, in our uh, HL test suite. Now uh, we're going to go to Newegg and uh, look at the. Actually, first we're going to look at the uh, what the Gamer Extreme 1000 is from uh, CyberPower. At this moment, since the the 550Ti at the time of recording this video is not released yet, uh, it's not listed as an option for the uh, for the Gamer Extreme 1000. But we're going to try to build a similar uh, 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 system that we use here. Will be uh, uh, very close to what uh, CyberPower built. Build, uh, build, we'll build for that six hundred nine, uh, five ninety nine dollar PC. Uh, so uh, let's go to New Egg, and uh, I have already pre-selected some parts. Uh, I couldn't get some parts uh, exactly the way that I that I that I use for this test. For example, uh, let's zoom in on this. Uh, you can read. Uh, okay, scroll down. You can see that they only have Intel Core i3 540 available. The uh, Cyber, Ga uh, Cyber Gamer uh, six, uh, 599 dollar uh, uh, PC will actually use a, a newer Sandy Bridge one, the 2100. But the advantage of using an, an old uh, an Intel Core, Core i3 530 or 540 is that it is very overclockable. Uh, this one is a uh, Intel i3 540 right now uh, will run you up to 100, uh, $120 in Newegg. And uh, I couldn't also, I used a uh, EVGA H55V motherboard for this review, but uh, it is also unavailable in Newegg and it's also not available in, uh, in uh, on the EVGA site. So uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is the closest one I could find that matches the specs. It is an MSI uh, uh, H55M uh, P33. Cost eighty dollars. It's a micro ATX form factor, and it has uh, pretty much most of what the uh, it pretty much matches the specs of our uh, H M EVGA H fifty five V motherboard using this review. And uh, right now, it's a great uh, great time to buy uh, memory, and it's really cheap. At uh, this one, it's a forty one forty two dollars actually forty one ninety nine. It's an A data uh, two but uh, two times two four gigabyte DDR three. And uh, since uh, we're only going to be for our setting, we use a 133 megahertz. So we we I just pick this one for our PC3 10666 dual channel kit at uh, 99924 uh, uh, timings. And uh, for the power supply, I opted to pick a uh, an 80 plus power supply that will a good high quality power supply is important when you're running a of a video card. So it's, you know uh, you don't you it's it will. It will be too much headache down the road when you have a when you have a power supply that's unreliable. So uh, this one is an 80 plus power supply from Antec. It's the Antec High Current Gamer Series. It only costs 59 dollars a new egg right now. And uh, since the Gamer Extreme from uh, from Cyber Power uses a has a one ter comes with a one terabyte drive, uh, we picked a Seagate Barracuda 7200.12, similar to our test drive that we used in our today. And of course, the Antec 200 uh, mid tower case we also use. It already is sorry. It only costs fifty dollars, and uh, it comes already with uh, two exhaust fans at the back. You can also buy a uh, if you want a almost the same amount of money. Uh, for example, the Cooler Master USB 100. It comes with a power supply already. I think it costs only a hundred dollars or hundred and ten dollars. It's a mid tower gaming power supply uh, gaming uh, uh, case. A uh, very basic uh, type of gaming case, but it already comes with a, uh, a 500 watt power supply. Although it is not 80 plus like this High Current Gamer Pro, uh, 
and also also that one only comes with a single fan so I opted to, to uh, separate and uh, went to uh, and uh, uh, try to get uh, to uh, a high quality power supply with a, a good quality case also of course uh, each PC uh, needs a uh, DVD writer I'm sorry it only cost $18 $19 actually uh, and uh, this total with the camera here and see what our total is and it's only uh, $435.93 of course, this uh, this this as you, if you notice that the uh, our 550 Ti video card is missing from that equation, so we're gonna add it. The uh, 435.93 plus uh, this uh, uh, 550 Ti uh, from FPV edition from uh, EVGA. It's got cost 149.99. So that will, that will total will come up to 585. It's still uh, it's it is under uh, for the 599 uh, the price that uh, V3 Gaming and uh, CyberPower are offering. Although the uh, there are some advantage and disadvantage between the building your own and uh, buying a pre-built. And uh, for example, uh, since we use an i3 540 from Intel, it it will overclock uh, rather easily and. It will be so much better with the, when, once you overclock the performance, you can increase it compared to the Sandbridge uh, i3s. Although they're both dual core and the I, the Sandbridge at stock is uh, slightly faster than the i3 540. Now uh, what we're going to do is uh, close this and try to see if our system that we built is uh, can run, can indeed run Crisis at, uh, at those specs. At the... Uh, promised it uh, advanced at 40 frames per second so uh, I have fraps loaded I've got uh, so we can you can see a big uh, frame in the corner if you can see that there you go while uh, crisis crisis demo is loading just move it uh, the view of the game will be cropped, but the uh, important part is you can see the uh, frames per second out of the corner. Let's move that out of the way. Maybe I need to adjust the camera a bit, sorry. Okay, here we go. Unfortunately, uh, this uh, demo is only uh, it doesn't come with a, uh, a built-in mesh mark, so we can't re I can't uh, and exactly like try to bench uh, it accurately. But uh, this will be the next best thing. If you can see, if you look at the upper right corner there, you can see the frame count and uh, try to join the match online. Just just we'll see a real-world uh, performance of this uh, Core i3 530 and a with a 550ti a gtx from uh, evga only well, we can find a server that has hmm okay get okay, this one a server trying to find a us server so we're gonna be there you go Since it's not in the game mode right now, so uh, uh, the the demo mode is only multiplayer, and uh, there's actually only two maps: Skyline and Pier. Uh, Pier with the uh, I think uh, maximum is only 12 players at a time for each map. So because uh, I haven't seen one where. I haven't seen any maps that get. Uh, I haven't seen any games yet that have a, a larger number of players. Okay, Let's see what we have. We have 33, 35 frames. I'm not in the game yet. 39. I am in advanced mode. That's it. It's pretty good so far. Okay. 
we are getting 40 frames per second but uh, let me verify first that we are in advanced mode solution 1680 by 1050 advanced okay vsync is off that's uh assume gaming the gameplay is actually rather smooth as you can see you're getting 65 frames right now not in the middle of any any action Let's try to go to a more outdoor area, more crowded where the action is, and see uh, what the lowest frames for, uh, what the lowest frames we get are. I think there are some people upstairs. Lovely. All right. I'm actually very smooth. We, we I think the lowest. I, I have to check the video later, but uh, indoors the the frames are reaching 50 frames, 55 frames right now. But it was it was pretty much 40 frames uh, on average while I was outside. That's pretty good. And uh, thanks for watching.